I'm just going to flip through each of the tabs real quick. A summary table of contents at the beginning. Very brief summary for uh, investors, such as how much equity and how much debt, what's the total amount of money that the surgical hospital is expected to distribute to the owners, and then case counts, facility square footage. This is just a very brief summary at the beginning. We have what's called a, a capital plan or a sources and uses plan here where you would calculate the cost to develop or purchase or renovate your surgical hospital facility and here you have inputs for the various facility capital expenditures as well as equipment and what we call soft costs so you'd have to do research to determine what all these would be and then once you know what your total capital needs are here it's about 18.7 million dollars up here at the top you can figure out how much of that you're going to finance with debt and then how much of that you're going to finance with equity and where that investment is going to come from so that's the capital plan we have a physician data tab here and in this tab this is where obviously you would enter in all your case volume on both the inpatient side and the outpatient side uh, this is a surgical hospital so this one we we identify physicians and uh, surgical specialties but you could also key in ancillary services here for example you could put in imaging uh, and then you could have MRIs and CT scans and things like that. All those volumes are summarized on the following tab, the volume revenue projections, which also incorporates material costs. And then we have some operating room utilization analysis tabs here, so you can determine what your utilization rates are for your various operating rooms. We have a detailed uh, expense tab here where by year, you can project your expenses for salaries, wages, direct supply costs, occupancy, professional fees like legal and accounting services, and then the various forms of overhead. And then some of these salary costs actually feed from this tab, the staffing plan, where you can uh, define by clinical area uh, your staffing needs and how much we're going to compensate each of the individuals in those various areas by title and full-time equivalents. And then all the inputs up to this point flow into the, the traditional financial statements, the income statement we have here, also called the profit loss statement, the cash flow statement, which you see here, and then the balance sheet statement, which you see here. And you can see down here that uh, the balance sheet does in fact balance and then we have other tabs such as capital expenditures so you can plan your equipment and facility budgets out for five years as well as what we call the working capital budget calculations so you can calculate how much cash and AR you need to manage and then we have two loan schedules for equipment loans and building loans if you're going to go out for financing you need to plan for those principal and interest payments. It's a very robust tool. I may need some minor modifications, but other than that, it's ready to go.